Hello everybody, I figured we would actually do some gaming considering this channel is called Train Gamer 5. I apologize for the poor audio quality on my voice. I am just using a Turtle Beach headset that I've had for probably about six years, so please forgive me. I'll probably work on getting a uh, better mic soon, but uh, this is a pretty cool uh, train video game. I'm not playing it for the first time. I have played quite a bit, um, but figured I would record some gameplay and throw it up on the YouTube channel just uh, so that way I uh, fulfill my oath of being train gamer, I guess. But uh, I built myself a little railroad here. Got a little engine here. Got another engine somewhere. And uh, yeah. So the goal of here is you build your own railroad, you just kind of chug it around and uh, deliver goods from one place to the other. It's supposed to be a new update coming out soon, and when that does, I'll probably do it. You can blow the whistle. Uh, also going to apologize in advance if I use any foul language while playing this. I'm just one of those people that... Once they get into the game, they start to uh, start saying words that are probably not pleasant for company. I'll put a warning up when I edit the video later. But, um, yeah, just playing some games. Uh, you get to build the tracks here. I built this little town. Um, it's a pretty fun game for the uninitiated. Now your computer's definitely got to have, uh, got to have some juice to run this. But luckily, I have a, a, a juicy computer, so I'm all set and ready to go. So let's go ahead and back this guy up. I'm not using this engine. I'm going to use the other one. Take the break off. God, getting money in this game is so hard. The only reason I have two trains is because my friend joined earlier, and he bought a second engine with the $2,000 that you start off with. Otherwise, I'd be stuck with that engine on the left, which looks nice. I definitely want to name, you can name your stuff for custom railroads, but the default stuff is Aurora Falls. So I eventually want to get my own railroad. So I'll go ahead and leave this engine over here with these uh, other cars. And I'll get out. Just run back over here. You can see I'm a conductor that goes to the gym a lot because I can run as fast as like a freight train going about 30 miles an hour so this guy is also an Olympian on top of being a conductor so run over here and flip my little switcherino and pull my train back onto the track I got a little like figure eight loop going in between the wheat farm and the uh, uh, not the wheat farm. Yeah, the wheat farm and the beef farm. Trying to get enough stuff for the beef. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. When I first started playing this game, I made some really sketchy tracks. So I've slowly but surely been trying to like go through and make them all less sketchy. So... I like to think I'm succeeding, but there's still a couple parts that are a little... Especially to the sawmill, which I have not been back to the sawmill in such a long time, just because I don't have any log cars. And I want to buy some more, but I'm not a high enough level to buy the good ones, and I figured I'm not going to bother unless I can buy the good ones. I'm definitely looking forward to um, Century of Steam as well. That game looks like it's going to be pretty cool. So once that comes out, I'll definitely get it. Alright, make sure the switch is... Yeah, the switch is switched. I made a pretty complex, like, Y here so I could get in to this reversing loop so I don't have to like back up and switch. I don't think they'd have a lot of reverse loops in real life, but I got tired of uncoupling my cars because it's all link and pin. 
the update on Monday will add knuckle couplers, which will make my life so much easier, because I don't have to, like, go and uncouple every individual car, or couple them up, I could just ram into them when I'm switching. Which I don't have a lot of cars, I have, like, probably a total of, like, I don't know, eight railroad cars right now, so switching isn't the biggest deal. Oh, crap, I got the brakes. Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! I way overshot that green thing. Don't distracted, don't be a distracted driver, no matter what you're driving. But yeah, you know, this is kind of just a casual playing thing. It's definitely not like a, a playthrough. Is my train moving? No. Because um, I've already played a little bit, you know. Do I have green? Yeah, I got green. Why ain't the green greening? A couple of more. There we go. Now the green's greening. It just kind of phases into the boxcar. Don't worry about it. If it didn't do that, it'd make my life a lot harder. Like, filling up the tank cars, especially, like, this game is a lot better if you could play it with friends, but my, most of my friends are not train uh, enthusiasts like me, so... The one I got to play, like, wasn't super interested. I'm kind of hoping I can, uh, get him interested. If there's anyone, uh, you guys, on the channel, uh, or watching the channel that's interested, I would definitely be up for playing. I need some fellow train peoples to, uh, assist me on my railroad. Because it is time-consuming. Like, from my understanding, like, after you, like, it's hard to make, like, the first set of money. But after you start making money, it's easy. The cows are supposed to sell for a lot of money, but getting a cattle car is, like, $900. And, like, this whole freight train right here is probably gonna just maybe make me 100 bucks if I'm lucky. Which, getting money in this game is, like, next to impossible. It's just ridiculous. So, let's go ahead and kill the right, kill the brake. Wrong way again. But yeah, this is one of the default trains. I wish I'd gone with the Shea. I'm like, I'm like up here in the Pacific Northwest, really big in logging railroads and stuff. But the main reason I didn't is I just figured it'd be really slow. And the stuff on this map is like so far away from each other that I didn't want to take like two hours riding the Shea there. But I'll probably buy a Shea or a Climax eventually if I can afford it. Like I see all these other people on YouTube with their... There are big fancy railroads, and I want me a big fancy railroad. But, you know, you gotta hit that grind. Alright, give me. Oh shit, is my train still moving? Fear. Getting my hay, then I get to fill up with water. And then I can skadiddle back over to the beef. Get that beef beefing. Alright, let's hop back on here. Alright, what do we got? It's very low. I know there's like technically three whistles, but I really like blowing the whistle. Don't at me. This is kind of like killing, or not killing, but... Oh, I guess I need to go a little further forward. Seeding my uh, model railroading hunger for the moment because I'm not in a very good position to do model railroading. There is more model railroad stuff coming. I got a few things in the works, but it's going to take some time. Um, may or may not be going back into the shed, but I may or may not be insulating the shed. So, But I have actually, I think I posted a picture on my YouTube channel a while back of the track plan I have designed. Um, it's pretty neat. Kind of like a logging railroad themed type deal. So I figured that would be neat. Alright. Now the water cars are the hardest part. Especially the way I have this well lined up. Now in all uh, transparency the well wasn't originally here there is still the default well but it was so far away that i just got tired of spending like a solid 30 minutes just getting water but i spawned one closer to the farm because i don't want to spend like 20 hours just 
grinding water trains up this long grade I have janky bridge I built it's like ridiculous and it's like come on they wells aren't that difficult to make I don't think they would have one like 10,000 miles away didn't have me lug water up to this farm this seems to be a fairly well you know hydrated area we're in so in transparency of uh, a farm would probably have its own water well especially in this and getting on top of these water cars could be a major pain too see I need to back up it's a major pain like if I had someone like to act as like a brakeman God, to like stay on top of these cars to help me see it go a long way okay so all right that's probably good enough all right let's try this again where are we at that might have even been too far god this is a major pain i think i could get away with that <clears throat> but the train is slightly moving, so I'm hoping it fills up before it moves out of the water zone here. And this is going to be like the heaviest train I've done. I don't think I've done one with all my cars. I might have done one train when I was playing with my friend the other day. I don't remember. Um, okay, let's kill the water here. Playing with a keyboard and mouse is like a big... Because I'm definitely a controller guy and I tried getting this set up for a controller. I cannot get it to work. So, I'm definitely not a keyboard and mouse player by default. Not by choice. All the real PC gamers out there are like, God, he's so lame. Well, the only real gamers play with keyboard and mouse. But I guess I'm not a real gamer. I'm sorry. I failed my gamer brethren. Oh, shit. This is gonna be one of them days, isn't it? Alright, I'm gonna see if that works. Like, yeah, it works. Nice. Well, that's doing that. Okay, duck. Yeah, this is my first time using this new, um, recording software I'm using so I'm kind of still figuring it out all right now my train is all full this has got to be the easiest load and unload I've actually done so let's go oh, I don't think I switched the switch back at the freight house so that sucks But I tried to make my, because my old track was so sketchy that I could only go really slow. So I tried, even some of these curves are still a little tight though. If I get some nicer engines later on, it might be a problem. But even then, you can still see I got like little wiggle waggles there. Let me kill the juice a little bit here. Like 20 miles an hour is fast for me. That's pretty much the max speed of this engine anyway. So. I'm just hoping the audio turns out well on this or nobody might be listening to it at all. but it's all working out well I'm gonna need to stop up here anyway before that switch I'm gonna blow right into the yard
Honestly, I could probably just leave this. See, this is the problem to run into when you're playing by yourself. Is like I gotta, oh, I'll just leave my train moving and jump out. Now I've like left it chugging really fast and tried to brace it to the switch so I could flip it and hop back on as it went. And it works out sometimes. I might like redo this town. Like once I get a lot of equipment, I'm gonna need a bigger yard. And they're adding in roundhouses on Monday, so I might redo this a little bit. I also need to build a track up to the meat processing plant, but I don't see much of a point right now, considering I don't have um, I don't have any uh, uh, cattle cars. And I also have some grades that are unrealistically steep. But this map's like some places. I, I kind of want to redo my tracks to the sawmill. They aren't that bad. Uh, but the well, the tracks at the sawmill are bad. But the trestle going. I have this like long, winding serpentine trestle going down the valley, which is I don't know. I'm wondering if I should try. I saw someone else build like a cool track on the hillside on their YouTube channel and I'm kind of thinking if I should just redo it but it's not like that bad that it's a major concern because there was some stuff that was like so bad it's like I have to redo it right now but I try to max out my curves at three and a half percent which in real life would be freaking ridiculous but the the grades go up to ten percent in this game but three and a half is as high as I'm willing to go, and even then I'm not comfortable. I like I like two percent as like my absolute max, but three and a half is as high as I will I will go at all. I mean, even here I'm like stalling out almost, but I'm not giving it any gas because it's going to be a downhill here in a minute, and I'll just be flying down the hill. But I think I'm reaching the max of what this engine can pull. Which, if it maxes with this, I'm going to have some major problems on the uh, sawmill if I get more log cars. Because this thing ain't going to haul the logs up the hill to the uh, from the logging camp to the sawmill. So that could be a problem. Once I'm a level 2, I want to buy some better... Uh, uh, some better log cars, but I might have to redo my track to the lumber yard, which could be a problem. I'll have to go see. It's been such a long time since I've been to the logging camp that I don't even remember how good or bad my tracks are. Now this uh, game is getting updated pretty regularly. Oh shit! See, I'm gonna do it right now. Run, run. Um, the track's even the right way, so I didn't need to do that. Might as well turn on my headlight while I'm over here. Right. I'm just kind of coasting into the um, cow farm right now. Okay, I do have a ridiculous grade coming just as a, like, I'll build, like, ridiculous grades for, like, sidings and um, reverse loops because they aren't, like, a necessity. But, um, like in my mainline stuff, I try to keep it chill. But there's some places on this map where it's like next to impossible to keep it actually. Alright. So I'm unloading my nice blocks of grain. Keep these cows fed. I hope it can assist or I'm so screwed. Okay, it's keeping it. Alright. If you do it like off to the side too far, it won't count. And then you're kind of, kind of screwed. So I'm glad that didn't happen. Trying to see if I could get it in the sweet spot where I can unload both of them. Right, I'm stopping. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to pull it farther forward. I'm going to have to back it up, actually, to do the green car here. Right, 
let's back this up here. Alright, hit the brakes, cut the rig, hippity hoppity off my property. Uh, I'm gonna risk it. I hope it counts at least count. Oh, thank God. <sighs> All right. Like, I got a, a decent amount of cows. I could make a load, but the dang cattle cars I, are too expensive, and I might not even be a high enough level to actually buy them, which is also lame. I just found out about the levels, like, the other day. I mean, all I got is these dinky little cars. Like, I could get full, you know, four-axle regular freight cars. But I'm hesitant on if this engine would actually pull them. So I'm just kind of nickeling and diming myself back and forth here. So every industry needs stuff, and then they produce stuff. And those other, other industries that need the things these ones produce, so there's kind of a chain you got to follow. Let's see how much money I got. $910. That's rough. That would get me one cattle car. So let's take a look at these cars here. See, I want to get one of these. Those aren't that bad. But they only haul logs. If I get one of these, I can also haul steel pipes and kill two birds with one stone. That's a tier one, though, yeah. But this one hauls iron rails, lumber, but... I don't, am I tier 2 yet? Let's take a look at me. Also, just a sneak peek at kind of all the stuff we got available here, but it's all level and, you know, level of money. That's the one I got, a little bigger one. Got this guy. I like that. I want that so bad. And you, some of them have different stacks and stuff you can put on them, which is pretty cool. That's kind of ugly. I think that's what I got, and I, I ain't liking it. That's all right. I'm not a biggest, like, old-timey engine. Like, if I get an engine, another one, I'm probably going to paint it, like, so, I'm trying to see if they got, like, a worn-down, beat-up paint scheme for this one. I don't know. Anyway, though. Oh, Climax. That's pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't want that stack. And no different headlight configuration. Uh... Heisler, that's kind of sick. I don't know how I feel about that one. I like the Shea. Nah. I like that one. That one's alright. Too many wheels for me. I mean, I, I like Mikados are my favorite wheel arrangement, but like when they're on making the engine look really long and kind of weird, I'm not digging it. Don't know how I feel. That one's just... I don't know. I kind of like it, but it's also too long. That one looks like a standard gauge. So this is supposed to be narrow gauge. And some of these engines look like they're standard gauge. That they just like... I'm close to being tier 2, but honestly I kind of want to change it up. So I think I'm going to buy those log cars like an idiot and not be able to haul them until I rebuild the entire freaking lumber, lumber yard train. So let's go ahead and... Should I get the? Should I get this for an extra hundred dollars to be able to do steel pipes? Before I could do steel, though, I need to do. I got like I got to build a track to the iron mine. I got to build a track to the smelter. I got to get the cars to haul ore. Then I got to get the cars to haul the stuff out of the smelter to the iron works. So I got so much stuff to do in between now and then. Before I have to worry about steel, then I think it might be worth. Um, So this will be car number nine, I believe. You can name it too and pick a paint scheme on your. It stands for the Lancaster, which is my last name. Northwestern Railroad. I'm probably going to go with a red. Let's go again. Let's get two of those, and I got two of the little log cars so we'll mix them up in kind of a weird looking freight train and lumber it up i 
I keep doing like capital, but I keep forgetting that it's just automatically capitalized on the car. Alright, so we got two of those. So let's take this back to. I probably need to put some wood in here. Yeah, my fire is going out. Crap. The hitbox on the fire ain't too great. I like how your fire is out for like two minutes and it goes to zero degrees Celsius. It's like, yeah, that happens. It's like, that would be hot for at least eight hours unaided. Because then your boiler pressure goes down and you can't move. Like, see, I have no boiler, like, so I gotta sit here for like five minutes waiting for my boiler pressure to go up. But in the meantime, I can pull up my map and go s teleport back to the freight depot. In these little uh, telegraph offices. See, here's my new cars. I guess these ones didn't have anywhere for the name to be on them, which kind of sucks, but, you know. Gotta hate Lincoln Pen. The second they do the uh, knuckle couplers, it is just over. Alright, so while that other train's building up steam, I'll hop, hippity hop in my little tank engine here and do some shunting with the cars I need and don't need. Assuming the fire's not out in this, which it probably is, so. Uncouple that. What's my fire at? It's probably like next to nothing. Yeah. I like how the fire is hotter in this thing, though, than it was in mine. Honestly, I might just use this to hold my log train. It's a little different. Oh, I forgot to put the link in. I'm such a dingus. You can also, like, control it, like, the actual way, but this is easier for me to do that. These are the seed pallet cars, which I do not need at this moment. So, are the brakes engaged down here? Yeah, they are. Let's kill the brakes. So, I'm going to have to move these onto one of these other sidings. I like this engine because it's so small it just stops and goes on a dime. It'd kind of be fun driving a little train like this in real life. I've never driven a... Well, technically I did drive a train once. That's pretty cool. I was at Camp 6. They let me drive their little diesel around when they still existed. But um, Mountain Air Scenic Railroad actually has a little tank engine like this. Um, I went too far, didn't I? Um, but it's just on display, but with the resources that, you know, they, they use, they probably could fix it fairly easily, but it's like, what would you do with it, you know? Something that small is, unless you have little tiny cars like these ones here to pull with it, it's kind of a pointless uh, endeavor. God, once we get knuckle couplers, it'll make switching a million times easier. I hate Lincoln pins so much. Throw the 
brake on there. Skedoodle out of this setting. Cars, my little logs. I put your brakes on, kids. Oh shit. Press F. Press F! With a brake! I probably caused a derailment. Oh no, it stopped. What do you know? But while I'm here, oh, it's rolling back. Ain't that doodle dandy? This is actually gonna work out pretty well. need this car because it wouldn't hold logs obviously it's too different from the other car so, yeah. now technically these cars should be at the back because they're smaller I'm gonna put them in the front because I'm too lazy in front of those big cars I could fit this engine with these two cars onto the turntable because it's so small. Oh shit. The brake. Did this derail? Derail in this game is. So every switch it's set for. The three way switches just automatically spring so it's easy to forget that. Now allegedly, oh, I, I did the wrong freaking thing. Allegedly, this engine's actually stronger than the other one I was using. I don't know why it would be, but you know, I'm not an expert. What do I know? Because the other engine is significantly bigger, which typically means more weight, which typically means you know, more power, better torque. This thing is just absolutely tiny. I might do one more farm run when I'm done with this. Pretty sure the brakes are on on these red cars, but I'm low-key hoping I could just smack them. Yeah, I can smack him. I'm gonna have to pull forward anyway to freaking put links and pins on because I'm a dingus. That's why I hate link and pins. There's, there's a reason we evolved Pathos. It sucks. No one liked it. 
knuckle gang. Okay, so that one's good. The ah, oh shit! I did I, I? Oh yeah, I did. I put some on there because I'm a big brain. Big brain time. It's a big brain time. Alright, so let's hippity hop back over to the cattle farm and get the freight train. I need to remember to switch that switch though. Alright. Knowing my luck, the fire probably already died again. Alright. And if they can make steam come out of the whistle, that would be pretty cool. That might. Uh, it might just be some video settings. I have my video settings almost up all the way. If there was a little bit of a lag issue, it wasn't major, but I just uh, figured I'd save my computer the stress, especially if I'm going to be running in a recording software in the background. I still think there's a really janky curve on this. I made this jacked up so high to try to make the curve more shallow, but I think it was even sketchier. This is another thing that needs editing. It's also a ridiculously high curve. Got used to building curves for the little tank engine. Now, there's parts where the wheels actually come off the track a lot, but the train isn't off the track. And I'm going downhill. Once I get around this part, I think I'm kind of home free a little bit. Once I get some longer cars, though, I probably won't run around the loop. I'll just have to switch it like you probably would on a real railroad. This engine is a lot faster than the tank engine, though. So maybe that's where it makes up its, uh, you know, difference in power is in its speed. Like this, there's three starting engines, the tank engine, this, and the Shea that you can pick from. I think this is fast. The tank engine's... Uh, a bit of both and the Shea is slow but powerful so like this is probably the fastest engine which speed you know when stuff is far apart does really help cut the rig I've known to let lose freight cars in this grade a few times by going too fast I'm going 26 miles an hour there's actually I should actually break there's a little bit of a divot here I think it's not too major of a divot but
Oh yeah, the switch up here ain't switched, so I can't blow through like I would normally. But honestly, I think I'm going to take the tank engine on a little adventure. Zero, zero. 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 We're going to go on an adventure to the lumber mill in this tiny porter. We'll see how it goes. I don't make the sawmill run like nearly as much as the other ones so I'm gonna have to stop and flip a bunch of switches and some of them are on some pretty big hills so that could be actually let me see if I can hop out and run past the train go flip this switch I think I'm probably run about the same speed as the train though I don't know. it's getting quieter Catching up with me, shit. Shit. Okay, here it comes. Try to hippity hop on the train as it comes by. Oh shit, <laughs> alright. Kind of a tight curve here, so I'm gonna let it coast. Like I said, the track to the sawmill is pretty rough. So, see how this goes. And the sun's going down and this engine doesn't have a headlight, and that worked out well, didn't it? The good thing is, is this thing has such a low max speed that I could kind of give it gas and not have to worry, unlike the other engine. Probably have to give it max fuel here to get it going up some of these grades. Going up the hill might be a problem. I might have to go get the other engine and try to double head with one engineer. Ooh, I don't like that fishtailing it's doing. It's a pretty steep grade climbing out of here. It's a pretty steep grade coming back. Like, these are empty, so I'm not too worried, but when they're full of logs, I'm a little worried.
And I kind of had to serpentine just to make the elevation, which real railroads had to do, you know. But it's still rough. Oh, I don't like that. These little tank engines does not, it ain't digging this. Uh, you can see how rough that track is. Hey, it's a logging line. It's realistic. It's supposed to be rough. It's authentic. Now, this is like the steepest part. I don't know if this train's going to be able to... Look how much it's smoking it just pulling the empties. I don't know if it's going to be able to pull the full log cars. I might have to go bring the other engine down there. Approaching the logging camp. God, and I almost burned up all my dang wood making that trek. Changing the wood in this thing while it's moving is a major pain. Now, I built a loop here, too, so it doesn't matter what way you go in. Now, this loading dock is for cordwood, which I don't have the car I need to haul cordwood. So I'm just going to kind of blow past the cordwood section, go around the loop, and go to the log section. Uh, it's a rough curve right there. Let me hit the rig. I don't want to... I'm going to hit the brake a little bit. It's kind of rough. Still have all my cars. Oh, all right, get the rig. In areas I can, I like to give it a wide turnaround so I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. If this thing does make it up the grade, it's going to be a slow slog. That'd be a good time to check and see if my recording software is still recording. in the log load now. Once I get past here, I'll hit the brake. Mm, Alright, I guess it's going over there. Now, 
Now the lumber yard is one of the, is like kind of the default. Um, and oh, this is going to be rough, isn't it? <laughs> this tank engine might have not been a smart choice. Oh, don't tell me it puts more on these cars. This is going to be rough. But the lumber yard, the or the uh, logging camp, does not require any resources from the start. So I need to back up a little bit. This is gonna be rough. Wish me luck. I'm gonna be pushing this tank engine to its limit today. We're gonna need to highball out of here. Technically, I could have brought my that one other car and gotten some cord wood, but I am not risking it at this point. <laughs> Let's get this last car loaded and wish for the best. truth. Might need to make use of that sander today. I could just make it up the grade up here, and then I can make it to the sawmill. But that's the moment of truth, because it's downhill all the way to the sawmill. After that. I got a little downhill before the uphill. Give me a good running start. This is going a lot better than I thought it would be honest. Honestly, I'm gonna have to cut I'm gonna have to cut the rig. Cause I'm getting very good. Well, we did it, boys. All right. Little victory toot. Probably, honestly, I hit the brakes. I got quite a load behind me. Cause these logs definitely weigh more than the train does. Worst comes to worst, I could jump off the engine and hit the manual brakes on the cars. That's so why it's good to have a friend to be your brakeman in situations like this, but it seems like the engine's brakes are doing fine enough. But I think the downhill boost we got from going downhill, just the weight pushed us all the way up the hill, so that worked out pretty good, actually. Yeah, this is a rough spot here. I'm going to have to make some modifications.
I got a couple switches I'm gonna need to flip. I got three switches actually I'm gonna need to flip going because I don't do the lumber run nearly as much. All the switches are flipped for the farm run. Yep, all my cars are still there, so that's good. Honestly, I'm probably not even going to have to turn on the regulator till we're on the way back from the sawmill because it's downhill all the way there. I could just coast the entire way. I'm going to need to flip the switch up here so I better start slowing down. Oh shit, that's the switch I need to flip right there. See if I can beat it. Beat it, 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 beat it. Crap, 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 crap. Train Olympics. Alright. Yeah, my brakes helped out quite a bit, actually. Actually, there's another switch way up here. I gotta flip, so while the train's moving slow, I'll do that. As you can see, this is the farm where we started out our day going with our other train. We're gonna blow right past this farm. Flip the switch. We should be good. Wait for my train to come back. But this engine can do the lumber haul, so that's good to know. down the windy bridge the windy bridge I've redone it like twice and I might need to redo it again <clears throat> this is about to be a really long windy pretty steep downhill grade I think I need to redo this wiggly section here. Oh, my brake's getting warm, it would seem. I wonder why. 
I'm assuming it's what the blurry wheels mean, either that or it's just really weird motion blur, but I haven't noticed it before. I'm slowing down. Sorry, bump bump on the mic there. I'm booking it. Hit the brakes a little bit. I'm gonna have to hop ahead and hit a switch. Am I daring enough to try it right now on this hill while we're going fast? I'm daring. I'm daring. I'm not daring, but I am daring. Where is that switch? It's way up there. I might have jumped out a little too soon, but it gives me enough time to run in front of the engine, even though I still hear it right behind me. Because <coughs> the red trestle is the return loop in it. This left track, well, it's rougher because it's the original line before I bypassed it with the red bridge. Goes, uh, it goes right to the log dump, so... Yeah, I haven't even needed to turn on the regulator the entire time. Since we... Essentially, since we left the log camp, we just coasted the whole way. There's a sawmill there in the distance. There's our return bridge. The new uh, loop bypassing the older bridge, which I'm on right now. God, that track is rough. Look at that. I need to redo that. I've needed to redo a lot of stuff down here. I just haven't been down here in such a long time. God, that track is rough. But we're hitting on to flat track here, so I'm going to take the brake off since we're on flat ground now. Yeah, I need to redo this big time. Big time. It's been another good chance to get out and flip the switch so it's facing the log dump, though. dump let's go our big log train sick there's a little hill getting under the log dump let's see if the coasting can carry us over the grade here pretty steep hill actually First time I've turned on the regulator. That little end track's a little crooked, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't make ballast underneath this for some reason. Alright, let's go. The lumber is lumbin'. Kind of money did we get? 
We have less money than when we started. Because <laughs> I bought these cars. So, like I said, it's hard to make money in this game initially. You just gotta kind of grind. Hmm. Like I said, I could get cordwood, but I don't know where to bring it. I can bring. I think the smelter needs cordwood, and I have. I do have a track to the smelter. You see in the map here, the uh, little T's are the uh, uh, telegraph offices that you build. They're the fast travel points, and I build one everywhere that I have a you know track goes to. So all this stuff is still unexplored for me. So I'm mainly just out here, this area. But uh, after I'm able to, let's see. Wrong button. Let's see what the cattle cars are looking at in price. And tier. $950. Tier 5? Bro. Is there any other car that can haul cattle? Like, I don't see why the little box cars couldn't haul, like, one or two cows, but whatever, it's fine. So I guess we're just hauling farm equipment and uh, resources and the uh, lumber for now. So maybe we'll grind some more lumber. Um, but I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, thanks everyone for joining my first game playthrough. And uh, I'll see you all later. So you guys have a good day.